My edges just won't stay down. Whatever. Whatever. We'll just get right into this video before I lose momentum. What is up? It has been a while since I actually sat down to talk to you guys about anything and everything. I know I like making videos like this, but I started to feel a little bit of an imposter syndrome where I told myself, um, maybe I shouldn't be giving advice because I don't have all the answers to everything. I need to just shut up and let people live their lives because clearly you guys don't really care about what I have to say, right? Then I felt like just being me is the way in which I can express myself best. I'm making today's video for me and to remind myself to do this and hopefully whoever's listening, whoever's watching this video, can take something from it as well. First off, let me just say, if you recognize this hair, these lips, these eyes, these lashes, this shirt, it is because I just got finished filming my intro to my parfait recipe video. I'm linking that above and I didn't have time to change at all. I just wanted to get this video out before I lose momentum. And I was like, I am not about to take all this makeup off, change my outfit and change my hair, which took forever to do by the way, to give you guys this short video. So if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, this is my channel. Otherwise, let's get on with the rest of the video. Today's video is all about saying no. No. Saying no all of 2021. I am notoriously known for saying yes to people. I have a hard time saying no to people. Whether someone calls me while I'm working on something. If one of my friends needs something. This is no tea, no shade, you guys. You know who you are. I love you guys. I will answer the phone. But um, I have a hard time setting boundaries between myself, my friends, my peers, my coworkers, and just other people, acquaintances. I have a hard time doing for myself. So I was going through a lot of crap at the very beginning of this year already and it's only February and I realized it's because I don't say no enough. I already don't feel appreciated and that's nobody's fault but my own. I'm choosing to feel this way. I really care so much about the path I'm on and what I'm doing, where I want to go in life, that I can't be sidetracked with being a yes person for everybody. Even though it's 2021, we're very much still in a pandemic and for me, I'm still inside these four walls filming these videos for you guys and trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm still actively planning out my career. In order to stay safe, be successful, to stay focused and stay motivated, I realized the one big thing I needed to start doing was saying no. I wanna first say, don't let people get in your way. Sometimes, Certain people can get in our way and distract us from where we're supposed to be. Whether those are friends who have no ambition, those are people that you just met who are undermining your success or making you feel like you're not good enough, the self-comparison, imposter syndrome that haunts all of us. Don't let people get in your way. So you tell yourself no. You say no, I'm not going to let myself be distracted by this person. I'm not going to stay on social media and watch all these people live their best life. That's their business, that's not mine, and my path is not any lesson there is and when I get to where I'm supposed to be it'll be the right time don't let people take things from you for free I'm someone who believes in sharing information I'm someone who's always willing to help I'm always giving my time to other people but you really do have to ease up on that just because you're someone who's giving and generous doesn't mean you have to be that way all the time and this year I honestly don't have any interest in just spending all of my time helping other people when I need to help myself. No one can help me the way that I can help me. For a short period of time this year, or maybe the whole year, shelter yourself and just keep your skills to yourself. If someone really does need help, be a service to them, but don't let them take advantage of you. I'm always giving away information for free and I do feel like you should never hoard information if you can help people, but you should draw the line. So if you're like me and you're someone who's always giving away valuable time and people aren't even reciprocating that in some way, then you need to be more guarded for 2021. For every minute you spend helping other people, you're taking away time for yourself. I know it's contradictory because I'm always very helpful. I can't help but to help people when they're in need and it's good to lift people up when you can. Yes, all the time that is a good thing. Don't be foolish and let people keep using you and then you don't get anything in return. It doesn't always have to be a monetary exchange. This year in 2021, if someone wants something from you, try to get something back from them. Regardless, if someone wants something from you but can't pay you, well then you have to come up with something that you can benefit from them. Let it be mutually beneficial. If someone wants something from me, at this point, I have to ask myself, well, what is it that you can do for me in return? 
can you edit something for me? Can you do a service for me? Are you also someone who designs or sells something? A lot of my relationships this year are intentional because I want to work with people who work with me. I don't want to be the only source of information for my friends. This may be something that my friends don't want to hear and it's not me talking directly to you guys. I'm talking to the audience, whoever watches my videos, because I'm trying to help you out here. You don't want to feel used. It's not a good feeling. There are times where I have a panic attack or I'm at my worst because I feel like, wow, when everybody needs something, I'm there. I always know the right thing to say. I'm always so giving. Then no one knows how to help me. And maybe it's my fault. Maybe I do it to myself. Maybe I'm unhelpable, if that's even a word. I just know that if somebody wants a dress from me, if someone wants something from me, they're gonna have to pay for it. In the past, I've worked on projects for people and they never finished because my time was wasted and I was very disappointed. And I never addressed it with these individuals because I don't want drama. I'm just choosing to learn from that experience and not let it happen to me again. This one, whoever's listening to this, watching this, might be taken aback by what I'm about to say, but this isn't just about me. This is about you guys. So whoever is watching this, I'm sure you can relate. Do not risk your life going to a party, going to events just because someone's your friend. Now, I have to be around people for work. Once in a while, I've been around people since 2020, but I've never been in a party. I haven't gone to a party since sometime in 2019. If you're like me and you have a service where you design, you make clothes, you have to be in good health. You cannot sell products if you're sick. You can't go to work if you're sick. You can't be around careless people. I've gotten invited to things since the pandemic began and I had to make a tough decision. I had to say no for two reasons. One, my health is not worth me missing hours at my job, not worth me being too sick to film for you guys. It's not worth me risking my health and contaminating what I do so I can't sell my garments. I have to protect my body. I do wanna be selfish, I wanna focus on me. I limit my interactions with people, but even still I'm careful. I don't know what your financial situation looks like, whether you have a job, two jobs, if you have money that you could be saving, then save it. And don't feel obligated to buy your friends gifts, spend money trying to hang out with people. Don't waste your money when you could be saving it. And that goes for you too. Limit what you're gonna do for yourself. I think it's a fabulous thing if you're able to spoil yourself and get yourself whatever you want because you worked hard for your money. There are millions of people who can afford to do whatever the heck they want with their money. But for those of us who are in need of crunching numbers, saving and budgeting, stick to that. Let that be your new hobby. Let that be something that you're good at so that you don't feel like you're being drained. I have this thing where I feel like if I have the money, I have to spend it. A lot of you guys probably can relate. The world is still kind of on pause for a reason. You shouldn't have to empty your pockets if you don't have to. That was my last point. Whatever it is, whether it's a person, a relationship, a gift, an item, if it does not help invest into who you are, if it does not benefit you in any way and it does not please you then say no to it whether it's going out somewhere buying something making a certain choice making a certain routine answering the phone for someone say no if you can commit yourself to 12 months maybe 11 months now where you only focus on what you absolutely need because it's imperative that you get where you need to be you'll be surprised where you end up in life i don't reach out to people as often there's only a small My phone just rang. There's only a small group of people that I talk to on a daily basis. And even still, they know that when I'm not answering the phone, when I'm not calling them, that I'm filming or I'm working, I'm editing. I'm, I have too much that I want for myself that literally I could lose everything if I keep saying yes all the time. Yes, take my money. Yes, I'll hang out with you. Yes, I'll, I'll call you. Yes, we'll go here. Yes, I'll do this. What's the purpose? Are you going to feel better? Is it gonna help your mental health or affect it negatively? There's a lot of things you have to start asking yourself now. I mean, we're still in the very beginning of 2021, so it's okay if you've been slipping up up until this point, but you know, ask yourself these things, find out. Don't let anything, I mean anything or anyone, get in the way of who you are. No one else knows what you want but you, and you still don't know. Two months from now, you might be so surprised when you realize, oh, this is what I wanted. And if I had been following behind most people and doing this with those people and doing this and doing this, 
I would have never figured it out. That's everything that I have for today's video. I've been a little peeved about my choices lately. So that's why I wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I'm going through it with you. You may not realize it up until now. <laughs> you probably realize it now. 2021 is about you. Like I said, to conclude, 2021 is a collaborative year. It's intentional, it's collaborative, and it's selfish. That's what I feel for this year. It's not about you just being at everyone's service, draining yourself, obliterating who you are so that everyone else can stand up stronger. That's not what this year is about, and you need to focus on who you are. I am not easily accessible. I'm closing my circle. I am not just doing what everybody else expects me to do. I'm still in this experimental process as well. And I hope that you guys understand that and you respect it. If you enjoyed what I had to say today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what else you'd like me to talk about. Let me know if this was helpful at all so I can keep making videos like this. And anytime I have a tug in my heart to tell you guys what's really going on, I will make a video. That is all for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.